I'm James Keith, Strategy Manager at Allegiant UK. As an industry, we're faced with making really important decisions when it comes to the safety and security of buildings and the people within them. At Allegiant, we've been looking at the main issues facilities managers and key decision makers face in the healthcare and education sectors. In May 2018, Allegiant UK conducted research involving more than 500 respondents from the healthcare and education sectors. We questioned them on areas such as fire safety, lockdowns, security and safety protocols in their facilities. We're here today to talk about our findings. Our aim is to make public buildings safer and create trusted environments. We want to use our findings to improve the safety and security in these facilities. It's clear that we're making industry failings in key areas. Following Grenfell last year, there's been an unsurprising emphasis on fire safety in 2018. Not just in high-rise buildings, but things like schools and hospitals as well. There's a heightened need to re-evaluate business practices to ensure that the necessary issues are being addressed. Our research has presented us with a number of key findings. Firstly, nearly half of all respondents did not strongly trust the fire safety measures within their facilities. This is pretty troubling when almost one in five have suffered a fire-related incident within the last three years. Secondly, within healthcare, 28% feel as if fire safety measures have been compromised, with more than half of these due to product knowledge. This carries over to education. Then we come on to the importance of fire doors. Our results show a staggering number of healthcare facilities where doors are left propped open. This is a similar pattern in education. However, fire safety is not our only concern. Security in public buildings is also an issue. Over 30% of healthcare facility managers believe security to be their highest concern. What's surprising is that over 25% don't have a lockdown procedure. Furthermore, 38% believe security procedures have been compromised, mostly due to a lack of product knowledge. As for educational buildings, over 25% of facilities managers believe security to be a top priority. This is further magnified by almost half of educational buildings now open outside of hours. Over half claim further concerns as a result of this. Then we look into lockdown procedures. These are a vital security feature that should be present in most, if not all, UK schools. Over a quarter claim there isn't one currently. What's particularly interesting across all these results is they seem to be preventable. What it often boils down to is a lack of product knowledge. My question to key decision makers is, are we too reliant upon local authorities for guidance? We believe that issues with different levels of product knowledge and a lack of general awareness of the risks is a dangerous combination. However, by tackling these in equal measure with a unified approach is the way forward. Trust within our industry is key. Taking into consideration each and every aspect of a building's specific requirements and the habitants within it is the way forward. We're here to work alongside that and build a safer future. At Legion we care about keeping people safe and secure where they work, rest and visit. We're dedicated to helping people across the country find the right solution for today whilst future proofing for what might happen tomorrow.